Hello, this is the simulation to the linear feedback shift register, which is a random number generator for Verilog and can be implemented. So it's not only for simulation, which is good. So what we have here is the R&D output, which is 13 bits wide. This can be set to any uh, width, uh, but do remember to change the tap positions uh, after changing the width. How and why I have explained in my blog post. And as usual, the link to the code and explanation is given in the description below. Now, when the simulation starts, um, yeah, before I go that, um, I did mention that the, line, that the LFSR creates a random feedback bit, not a whole random number. So if you only output, um, let's say, the random, the one, uh, this uh, register, it will be a very predictable output. Um, let's, as you can see, 15, 31, 68, 127, you can clearly see the pattern here. Why? Because it is a simple shift to of a random bit. So, I achieved a random number by holding these values till uh, our desired output is achieved. So, if I have a th four, uh, 13 bit, sorry, if I have a 13 bit output, these values will be held in the register as soon as 13 bits are complete they will be sent to the output so so what is 8180? 8180 is a collection of all random bits so uh, it's it's pretty much random which uh, is difficult to predict but remember it's not high security random it should not be considered true random uh, if the algorithm is known the method is known it can be predicted um, so yeah that is the simulation let's check the shifts here after reset it, it went through 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 yeah so after 13 shifts it changed the output 8180 after another 13 shifts the next random number is 3877 another 13 shifts we get 505 and that is our random number generator um, I'll show you the code as well it is <coughs> sorry it is achieved with a, a next state logic and here is our exclusive R of the tap, tap bits or tap positions um, these must be changed every time the output is changed that's why I could not use a parameter um, it's kind of a hassle so yeah what I have to deal with it um, at reset instead of the usual reset it to zero we have to reset it to all ones because an LFSR cannot have an all zero state it will not work so otherwise what it will do it will keep shifting as well as keeping track of the count once the count reaches 13 which is our um, output register width uh, it will reset the count and send the um, shifted values to the output and um, that is, that, that's it that's it I hope it was uh, of some help any questions do let me know via the comments thank you for watching